That was awesome. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Marshall Couture, also known as Plex of Donkey Jaw Projects. And you are watching day 20 and 21 of making paintings for 100 days for at least 30 minutes a day or more. <laughs> and uh, today has been a fun day so far. Um, lots of mishaps trying to record videos. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, so basically in the last video I was talking about um, just my struggles throughout the week. It's been a little rough. Um, not knowing exactly what I want to paint and things like that. Um, so it's been fun. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too much into it. I also talked about it on my podcast, which will be, I'll be, I haven't uploaded yet, but will be uploaded maybe by the time you see this video. Um, but I got kind of into more of what my plans are, what I'm going to be doing and everything. And, uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is starting to do weekly videos, like one painting video a week, um, to update you guys of what I'm doing or what I did in the past week and all that. And, um, but what I am going to be doing um, is record I still will be recording every day but I won't I'll be compiling all those recordings into one weekly update and um, that doesn't mean I won't have videos coming out every day because I'm going I have other videos I'm gonna be doing as well and one thing that I notice about myself is I do better with a buffer um, if I'm able to create a weekly or maybe bi-weekly buffer I don't know like I mean I won't be I'll be up to date with the, you know, painting videos, but, um, you know, I, I just, I have experimented with that before and I'm able to be more productive if I can just kind of press publish, you know, on various days, um, because it's hard to like get a lot of production value out of what I'm doing if I have to focus on like a million things every day. And then on those days where I just feel like I can't do anything, either I don't do certain things or uh, just certain value of production just kind of goes down the drain. So, um, you know, I'm go I, I figured maybe I could do, and I mean, maybe this won't work, but I'm going to try it. Maybe I could do a video once a week that kind of has a lot of production value. And, you know, I want to, like, mess around with my um, video editor and stuff. There's a lot of things that I can do that I don't do. Um, and, I, you know, I've been inspired by, you know, other people's videos. You know, Gazbot's a really good example. He puts a lot of production value into his stuff. Um, and Kevin Cross even will put a lot more than I put, you know. <laughs> um, and just other people as well and I, I want to up my game I'm upping my game and everything in my art and my video making and um, you know I'm not gonna do exactly what other people do I'm gonna do my own thing and figure out my own way and things that you know are interesting and, and um, that like I do bet uh, you know well or entertaining or whatever <laughs> so um, if you could tell, words aren't coming to me very well today. <laughs> I think I need more coffee. I've already drank at least one cup, but <laughs> who knows? Drank, drunk, all that fun stuff. So anyways, I did do my 30 minutes today. Um, I'll be doing a lot more, um, but, you know, I wanted to at least get that 30 minutes in and done. So at least that part of it's done. And then, you know, I can work on, like I've also done um, prepping of um, boards and stuff like that. So right here, I um, gessoed all these. These are these little ones are the ones that um, Dee Dee sent me. So there's about 12 of these, and then a couple of these bigger ones. And I have more, you know, that I need to get prepped and whatnot, bigger ones and whatnot. 
but you know I'm starting out with these smaller ones and um, you know I did like one coat of gesso and then I sanded it did another coat of gesso sanded that so that's where they're at right now and now I just need to kind of clean them up and draw on them um, and I'm going to do simple drawings and what I want to do is prepare all of these like today or within this weekend or something or just whatever because I want to just have like drawings on all of them so I can just all I have to do because I want to my goal now from now on is to actually paint every day like I'm done with like just trying to um, you know like like preparing a board shouldn't be part of my 30 um, minutes a day um, and figuring out what I want to paint shouldn't be part of my 30 minutes a day in my opinion um, I think I was doing that for a little while but I really want to be more productive than that so um, I mean I'll do more than 30 minutes too a lot of days but um, I want it to be filled I want to be putting paint down on canvas or paper or whatever it is that I'm doing um, I think it kind of defeats the purpose if most of this hundred days is me preparing to do paintings you know so switching that around um, another thing is what I want to do is have at least one or two big paintings going at all times so that you know my 30 minutes if I'm not inspired or whatever can go straight to that I can just chip away at that you know or I can start knocking out some of these maybe I'll even do a couple of them in a day or who knows or just one of them who knows um, and also it's good to have stuff to go kind of back and forth on um, when one layer of something is drying and the other layer need you know you have something else you can work on or whatever so you know switching up the way I'm doing videos switching up the way I'm doing paintings and um, hopefully it'll make me more productive because um, that's the point is to get better at art and be productive create things that I can you know sell um, because this is also is a business thing I want to do you know and start building so um, yeah I don't know so trying some new things um, if what you're doing isn't working don't keep doing the same thing you're doing do something different you know that's uh, something I learned a long time ago but you know I've really learned a lot of that you know by being involved with uh, the GTS movement which is um, a group of people who teach how, teach people how to sell their beats online their hip-hop beats and stuff but I I'm you know signed up even though beats is like just a side thing it's not a main focus um, I'm just applying it's a, it, it's universal so I'm applying those techniques and things to art so um, also I was just gonna show you there's gonna be some speed painting but this is how far I've gotten so far on the RZA painting watercolor RZA is a hip-hop artist from Wu-Tang Clan and you know I'm just deepening the values I got basically some flat colors in there and I'm just working on deepening the values um, the reference photo I have is black and white um, which was probably a mistake but um, that's all right. I'm kind of using other photos of him to get some of the colors down and you know it'll be what it's gonna be and uh, if it looks good it looks good if it doesn't it doesn't maybe I'll sell it maybe I won't but the point is I'm making art putting paint down on pages on boards you know and that's that's really the point I'm um, trying to get better so also you know you might see this you may or may not see this ugly orange background <laughs> um, the reason why I have it is because uh, I just realized that the program that I have can do like the green screen thing it doesn't matter what color you actually use though um, so I'm gonna just I, I put it back there and I'll see if I can do something with it I'm going to start playing with the different effects and stuff that I have in my movie program um, and seeing if I can make some cool stuff and, and have some, some more production value. Just to play around with stuff, it's fun to be creative in all avenues, you know, in the business avenue and creating videos and creating art. So, yeah, 
that's all. Um, you know, maybe I'll throw some silly video back there, or maybe just a picture, or, you know, my logo probably this time is all I'm going to put, um, because, you know, I'm just trying to see if it works. And this video might have a lot of cheesy things in it because I'm just trying stuff out for fun. And some of these videos coming might have that, um, you know. And, you know, because the program that I'm using isn't like professional standard program, but there's a lot of stuff it can do. And I'm going to play around with things and hopefully come up with some combinations that are do look kind of professional and um, also just fun you know so that's what's gonna happen and um, there's gonna be some speed painting and stuff mixed in with this video um, and hopefully other things we shall see um, so I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. Um, I guess I could talk about my process with the watercolors. Um, it's been interesting. <laughs> uh, I kind of started this painting off a little bit um, without, you know, I, I was using some of the stuff I learned, but I was also forgetting some steps. <laughs> um, so it's you know it's not perfect according to what i was taught but i'm using some of the stuff and you know on the next one maybe i'll learn more and just keep moving forward but watercolors are definitely tough <laughs> um but they're fun you know they're definitely a different feel um and i also just uh grabbed a painting like a um, acrylic painting course too which i've watched most of um, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna, there's still a lot more to go and, you know, I'll probably be trying out acrylic, maybe even today a little bit. Um, so we shall see, but I'm probably going to stick with acrylic and watercolor. Um, acrylic is really interesting because you can get oil effects and you can get water effect, watercolor effects with acrylic. You know, and you can't get oil effects with watercolor, and you can't get watercolor effects with oil, really. So, like, at least as far as I know, but, I mean, the to try to do that would kind of defeat the purpose of using that medium anyways, because watercolor is supposed to be, like, this kind of transparent, cool, like, different kind of glowy effect, I guess. I don't know. Um and oil is supposed to be definitely opaque and thick and you know th that gets some really cool glowy effects but they're different there's a different quality to them that's interesting and and you know to try to get one effect with the other kind of in my opinion as far as i know kind of defeats the purpose but um acrylic is really versatile in that you like i said you can get those other effects so i might kind of switch over and stick with acrylic for a while if if I start to feel comfortable with it um there's also gouache which is like a gradient between acrylic and watercolor I guess you know as far as I shouldn't say gradient that's not really a good word to use but like it's something in between those two which is interesting that there is even something in between those two so um haven't tried it yet not gonna probably try it for a little while I I mean I'm I'm still so new at the acrylic and watercolor and I'm probably going to stick with acrylic after this painting I don't know um maybe I'll go back and forth playing with the two but uh I definitely want to try to get some oil effects I love I, I love the idea of playing with texture and thicker paints and some oil paint I mean you know you look at people like Frazetta's oil paintings and some of these fantasy artists and they're just blow you away you know I mean watercolor too I mean all all the mediums so though but you know I'm probably gonna stick with acrylic for now um, one thing that was interesting that I learned is that acrylic isn't like really bad to get on your skin even though there's like chemicals and stuff because it's water-based and your skin has oil on it so it kind of repels it and it actually doesn't seep into your skin really 
So if you get acrylic on your fingers, you know, once you wash it off, you know, it's, it's good. It doesn't really seep in. I, I thought that was interesting. I never even thought of that. So that was kind of cool. So yeah, learning a lot of stuff, just pushing through and sitting down. And I mean, today I sat down and I'm like, again, I just automatically think, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I mean, I, I'm learning, but I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I'm like, all right, I just got to put the brush on there and start. <laughs> and that's what I did. And I started deepening some of the um, values, lightened up the eyes, worked on some details here. It's just about going in and playing with it. <laughs> and eventually I started feeling, I was in the groove and I'm like, okay, I'm doing something here. <laughs> I think I'm doing something right. Um, so I just kept going till that bell rang. Um, and then I kept going past the bell a little bit and um, the video actually ran out. But um, I just kept going. And, um, you know, so I probably did maybe 45 minutes instead of a half hour. Um, and then I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to, you know, work on this video. I have to get the podcast up. Um, I have other videos that I'm thinking about either making or publishing um there's some videos that are actually already created that i just need to you know put into format and do some things with and and uh publish them and then you know hopefully i can s just set this stuff up and push the publish button throughout the week as i'm doing my new painting videos but i'll just be recording those videos so yeah new plans for video new plans for painting um, I actually did some recording of some music, uh, this week, and, um, so that was fun. Eventually, I'm going to be introducing, um, a series, I think I'm going to just call it Music Make Break, um, because music isn't my primary thing, but I've spent tons of time in my life, and probably my best skill that I actually am proficient and have a mastery in is writing rhymes. Like, I love writing rhymes. I love recording, I love making songs, making beats, all that stuff is definitely something I've gotten at least a little mastery of. Um, and especially writing rhymes, that's like probably the best thing I am, that's like the one thing I'm best at. But I don't really view that as a career thing anymore. I did when I was younger, but it's not something I even want to pursue anymore. Um, it's just something I want to do for fun and put out albums. And I mean, it's part of all of what I do and I will be selling stuff and it'll be like a part of the income, I guess, if, if I can make it that, but it, I don't know that it'll ever be the primary thing, you know, um, focusing on art right now and focusing specifically on painting. Um, so, so yeah, um, that was fun though, but I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna introduce music make break as a video series, um, and there was some other ideas I had. I also have some um, tutorials on creating stuff within the Weebly website, and um, I'm gonna be introducing some um, some very natural and organic advertisement type of things, um, affiliate links and things like that, just as another source of income you know i don't expect to make a million dollars off of any one thing but maybe some of this stuff can combined can start building towards a career you know um that's really something i'm working towards um but i'm focusing on making the art is really the thing and enjoying what i'm doing you know which i am doing <laughs> i mean it, you see the struggle you know sometimes more than the enjoyment but it's something like if i was struggling like this for eight hours a day or more i'd be much happier than if i you know was doing my day job that i don't really you know have much passion for even though i do enjoy it enough um but you know it's not a passion and i get excited when i'm working towards this stuff with the art you know and and there is a passion behind that so I guess that's about it guys I don't you know have a ton more to say for this week but next week it'll be like a full week long worth of content so I don't know that'll be something to check out we'll see how it goes um so yeah I guess that's it guys thanks for watching um I got a lot of well 
I shouldn't say I got a lot. I got a lot of feedback <laughs> from one person um, specifically. I mean, I've been getting some feedback here and there. Um, but this week, I got some feedback from Dee Dee Willingham um, on the last video that I did. And um, she was just giving me some suggestions, you know, from her experience and just things that, like, you know, might help with the things I've been going through that have been like kind of the artist block thing. Um, so that, you know, thank you, Dee Dee. That was really cool, really helpful. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying some of that stuff out. And, um, you know, it's just awesome that there are people out there who dig my stuff and are, you know, like to um, help and support and give feedback. So thank you guys um, for the feedback you have given me. I mean, there's been other people too. Um, along the way lots of times so really cool thank you so much and um you know we're all in this journey together <laughs> um a lot of you guys are artists and uh yeah i don't know that's about all i have to say i guess um check out the podcast there's some interesting stuff in there um i'll be uploading that to youtube and to my website donkeyjawprojects.com um today and yeah that's about it Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you on the next making paintings video. Peace out. Say, I'm a donkey jaw. I'm a donkey jaw.